Let's take a look at A1 and A2. A1 and A2 says, identify the performance attribution methodology that Chin should use to complete his performance attribution reporting. And, part, and number two for A is discuss two additional inputs needed to complete this type of analysis. All right, here's the story. Monique Cobalt is chairman of the investment committee for the Gladwin Manufacturing Defined Benefit Plan, the fund meaning the plan sponsor, which uses several asset management firms for its investments. Cobalt hired analyst Lee Chin to improve the fund's performance attribution reporting Chin begins by gathering portfolio returns, valuations, and external cash flows for each asset manager, and then excuse me, designs new manager attribution reports. Once that's complete, he conducts an asset liability analysis for the fund. He then works with the committee to reevaluate the fund's risk tolerance, reviewing participant demographic information and Gladwin's financial stability. So now what I'd like you to do is based on that little story, okay, and you have the questions again still in front of you, I'd like you to answer A1 and A2. You have six minutes, uh, again, two minutes for the identification and two minutes for each input that you discuss. You gotta have two inputs and two discussions. So two, 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 that would be how the points would be awarded. And what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to do that right now. Take about three to four minutes to answer it and come back and we'll go over it. Okay, well, if you um, actually uh, went over, if you, if you solve this, the answer to number one, take a look at A1. Identify, that's the key word, identify. When you're asked to identify, and this is again to teach a lesson here because you're gonna need to know this even for the I IPSs then you, when you do them for individuals and institutions. If I asked you to identify one person in the room, what would you do? You'd say, Joe. Would you start telling me about Joe, the color of Joe's shirt? Or what kind of sneakers Joe is wearing? or how Joe's hair is cut? No. Identify means just almost like a one word answer. So what I want is I want you to identify the performance attribution and methodology. Now, if you didn't remember the methodologies, you were stuck, okay? But the answer to this question would have been simply macro attribution analysis approach. That's all you would say, macro attribution analysis. That's all you have to do and that would satisfy A number one. Why? Because, what's, what's the key to that? The key to that is that it tells you in the story on the fourth line that Chin begins by gathering portfolio returns, valuations, and external cash flows for each asset manager, and then designs new manager attribution reports. That's the ding, 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 the bell that's basically telling you that that's one of the inputs to macro attribution analysis approach. <clears throat> the second part is to discuss two additional inputs needed to complete this type of analysis. Well, the two that you would need to put down is they've already given you the third one, which was the, um, which was the portfolio returns, valuations, and external cash flows. So the first one, would, the other two inputs would have been policy allocations and benchmark portfolio returns. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I know you're sitting at home or wherever you are smoking cigars right now because we just went over this and it's like, oh yeah, I know this. Well, try to remember this three weeks from now, three months from now. Well, if you don't go over this over and over again and you don't have index cards and you haven't really put this to, to index cards to remember, it's very easy to forget this. And then you would lose four points out of six. All right, so you, now putting, what I would have done is I would have put down the answer policy allocations for the first bullet point. And then the second bullet point, I would have put down benchmark portfolio returns. And if you take a look at my answer key right now, my handwritten answer key, you could see A1, I put down the answer. And then A2 for, portfolio, for policy allocations, what did I explain here? that the fund sponsor who's the client has to decide on, as we just went over, the asset categories, meaning the asset classes to include, and the weights of each asset class, and then the funds, the available funds that can be allocated to each of the managers for those asset classes. That would be the policy allocation. For the benchmark portfolio returns, that would be the second one, you'd have to explain that the fund sponsor would determine what? Broad-based market indices as benchmarks for general asset categories, again, like domestic stocks, domestic bonds, international stocks, international bonds, and more focused indices, such as like the barra value, barra growth, whatever, to serve as a benchmark for the investment manager's investment style, okay? Now, that is part A, one and two. Um, because we just went over this, it was, it's pretty easy to answer this. Again, I think it would be very difficult to get all six points. Based on my answers, I would have probably said I would have gotten all six points. But again, it would have all, all depended on how, uh, um, you know, on the quality of my answers compared to other candidates and the answer key.